when we're in, holes and on, strip no joints. Coming around underneath, getting rid of the slack. This grip here is palm down towards the mat, and the other one that's beside his neck is going to be palm up to the ceiling. Bring it in. Bring this right in behind his neck, and then you have your X. When you're turning, guys, just be careful. A lot of people, their arm slips up, and you just start cranking his neck, or his head might slip out. So just keep it nice and tight. Here, everything's on his neck, and squeeze. Or, if you're underneath the head more, dropping this arm down, and making sure to lift the head right up in the air, rather than twisting it around. An extra thing that, an extra bonus you can get out of it is, when we grab this, a lot of time his arm is on the inside here, and rather than just passing it straight to her hand, we can pass it up and over his arm and here. The closer you get to his hand, the better. Just make sure that you get all the slack out of the lapel. Now it makes it much harder for him to defend anything. It's in your way a little bit more when you're going to set up the choke, but it's much harder for him to use the hand properly. Just get your hand in there, pull it in, and the exact same finish. Just he's gonna have a lot of trouble using this hand to push you off. So, exact same thing, but instead of just going straight underneath his armpit and grabbing on, we're gonna quickly just come over the top, catch it, Readjust it if you need to. Get it nice and narrow and near his wrist. Get as much slack out of it as you can. Hand comes in, over, pulling it in nice and tight. Head down, circle, and then going for your squeeze. Okay, give it a try on two, guys. Go on two.